This video is a quick guide on how to change settings for patterns in the EPC-15 and relates to the pallet lock trial unit. So firstly, we need to select the bead pattern that we want to change. And we do this by pressing the Use key. And what that will do is show the current pattern number. And by scrolling down or up, we can select another number to either create a new one or change an existing one. And then press Enter. So we are now on pattern 4. Now if we need to change the conveyor speed, we depress the Options key, which will bring up quite a few different options, but we're only looking for a change in conveyor speed, which is shown as meters per minute. So scrolling through, we come to speed, which is flashing up, and currently we're at 51 meters per minute. Let's say we're looking for 45 meters per minute. Scrolling down until we get to 45. And then going across to the Save button, Enter Saves for 04. We can now guarantee that we have 45 meters per minute. If you wish to check this, go back to the Options button, scroll up, You can see it's 45. Okay. In order to change the bead length, we scroll across to the offset, which starts flashing, and then we scroll up to length one. And then using the arrow to the side, key 340 millimeters starts flashing so we want 310 millimeters we then depress the key down until we get to 310 once again depress the save and enter if you need to check that, scroll across, offset 1 starts flashing, length 1, 310. There's also offset 2 and, off, and length 2, but just ignore these. As length 2 is on 0, it means it won't fire. So that's pattern 4. Just one other thing, the offset here is shown is 58 millimeters. This is for all patterns. It is basically the GTO, as Nordson call it, gun to offset, or the sensor difference distance to the nozzle tip, and will always stay at 58. It can be modified by scrolling up or down. But in this case, we're going to save it back to 58. Okay, that's all your variables.